Welcome back YouTube, I'm Robert Hall and in today's video I'm going to go over my experience with the Lensbaby Composer Pro. Lensbaby has been around for a while, so it might seem a little bit odd that this video is coming from me now. If you've never heard of it, Lensbaby has quite a few options. They have manual lenses like a circular fisheye, the Velvet 85, the Burnside 35, all of which have unique visual characteristics. They also make a creative bokeh set and have a ton of different accessories and optics that you can use to add effects to your photographs. For the longest time, I wasn't interested in Lensbaby products at all. I was just more concerned with technical aspects like autofocus speed and sharpness of the image. But after a few years off, last year I brought a tilt shift lens back into my lineup. As I've developed as a photographer, I have a much greater appreciation for the aesthetic that you can achieve by letting go of technical perfection and instead focusing on the mood. And while my tilt shift gave me a taste of that aesthetic that I was looking for, I felt that messing with the dials for controlling tilt and shift was just way too slow for my fast paced wedding work. And that's what made me look into the Lensbaby Composer Pro. The Composer Pro refers to the body which can accept a variety of swappable optics. The body has a few very simple functions, you can use it to tilt left, right, up or down, and you can lock down a position by twisting the locking ring. And the front of the body can be used for manual focus which works with any of the swappable lenses. Once you put a lens in, you can then change the aperture of the lens by twisting the lens left and right. I do want to note here, another reason that I wasn't so interested in Lens Baby in the past is because it was very difficult to be precise with focus. But now that I've switched to Sony, I have features like focus peaking and zooming that I can do in the EVF or on the LCD to help me be really precise with manual focus. But Lens Baby does not offer an E-mount composer. But what I did is just ordered the Nikon version and then used a Nikon F-mount to Sony E-mount adapter which works 100% as expected. And to start using the Lens Baby Composer again, I chose the Sweet 35 lens. By default, the Sweet 35 has a sweet spot in the center that allows for a sharp rendering, whereas the outside drifts out of focus. Here's a quick demonstration and explanation of the effect that I think you guys can see pretty clearly. So I figured one of the best ways to illustrate all the things that the Lens Baby is capable of is to just show you guys a live recording as I make modifications on the lens. And so I chose a picture that we have hanging in our room that is very geometric, so you'll be able to see all those changes as they're made. This is completely straight. You can see that there's still going to be an effect by the lens even when the Sweet 35 is perfectly straight. So you can see our center is nice and sharp, but it quickly falls out of focus. Now, as we stop down, I'm gonna drop it all the way to its max just so that you can see Kind of the opposite let that iso compensate for us now you can see that much more of the frame is in focus so as you stop down two things happen you're going to increase your depth of field but you're also going to minimize the amount that the effect of the blurred lens shows all right so right now we are at f5.6 now i want to show you what happens as we start modifying the position of the lens so i'm going to twist it to the right So now you can see that our point of focus, the point that is in sharp, is more to the right side of the frame. And if we switch to the left side, as we tilt the lens, boom. Now our sharpest point is more on the left side of the frame. So now that you can see that we've got a maximum aperture of f2.5 and we have that tilt maximized, our area of focus is very, very slim. It's still off to the left in that upper side but the amount of space for it is just really slim and the effect everywhere else is strong. So you can see as you move left, right, up and down, it's not so much that your depth of focus is changing, but really just the plane around it is moving. So bringing the Composer Pro into my wedding and portrait work has just been so much fun. It feels great to let go of corner to corner sharpness and instead focus on getting a dreamy and surreal feel with the lens. Also, by moving the aperture blades and choosing the manual focus and bending the lens to get the exact look that you want, you really feel a handcrafted attachment to the image that you create. Now, I do use it sparingly to avoid my clients thinking that I was drunk the entire day. However, they see me all finicky and they're often pretty interested in it. And so whenever I show them the result, they're pleasantly surprised to see the effect, and especially since there was no editing involved. 
Now, in comparison to a regular tilt shift lens, you don't have any of the perspective correcting benefits that you would get from shifting a lens. There's no shift feature on the lens baby, but that applies more to people photographing architecture and interiors or maybe a landscape photographer. So that's not really concerning for what I'm looking for. So I just want to be clear that this isn't a tilt shift replacement if that's what you're looking for a tilt shift lens for. So if you're looking for a tool to give your images a really unique aesthetic and you're not obsessed with perfect sharpness, then the Lens Baby Composer and all of their swappable optics is a really cool way to do it. And they have a ton of options, so make sure to look at everything in depth if you're considering it. Right now I'm eyeing the Edge 50 optic to add. I really wanna play with that one too. So I'll definitely be adding some other optics in the future. Leave a like if you enjoyed this look at the Lens Baby Composer Pro. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos on photography equipment. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on shooting, YouTube.